Good morning, privateers. Welcome to the uh, the week ahead outlook for the week of uh, May 16th, or sorry, May. I was just looking at flights that I have it. April 16th. We got two weeks left in the in the trading month. Um, Obviously, the most important piece of news out over the weekend was uh, it was Friday when I was at dinner where Trump set off the uh, the missile launch into Syria. We were pretty much expecting it over this weekend. Uh, the market didn't seem to care too much on Friday. Um, so we're thinking that the reaction here on the open, uh, you know, the market is open now in New Zealand and, uh, opening up at the time of it, of the video time of recording is opening up in Australia. And, um, I would say currencies have not really moved too far from where we were on, uh, Friday's New York close. So seems to be a, uh, fairly, fairly muted reaction to to this but uh, we'll see in a couple hours time when, when the US equity markets the futures open five o'clock Chicago six o'clock New York so that you know there might be a little little initial risk off type move but dollar yen is opening right pretty much uh, actually I think it's a little bit higher now uh, we're trading around 10750 and we closed at 35 so that's that to me is uh, a sign that equities may not dip at all on the open. Um, you know, we we did, we were, was not a unilateral missile strike. Our good friends, the UK and even France, were involved. And, uh, you know, th there's going to be some headlines. I'm sure there'll be some more Russian backlash and some of the other BS. Um, so it, it will still be kind of headline driven, but... Uh, as far as expectations of a big risk off on the open, I, it does not look likely at all. And I would, I kind of said this Friday night when I, as well when I was at dinner. I, I just didn't think it was that big a deal. Um, the week ahead, we have um, the other thing. We had, we had a decent drop in the VIX on uh, last week. We're back under 20. It's down at like close at 1740. The move index, which is the volatility index for the uh for fixed income as well was lower. Uh, so the market, the, there seems to be a more improved um, risk appetite um, backdrop for the market. You know, stocks have really had a tough time going down, even on, you know, some of these uh, Comey tweets or, you know, quote, quote, Comey news and the Cohen news on Trump. Stocks just, uh, they don't like going down right now. So um, I'm waiting to resell higher levels. Um, as far as the event risk going ahead, we got US, re retail, US retail sales. We got the Bank of Canada on Wednesday, CPI out of the UK, New Zealand, Japan, and Canada all coming up this week. So, you know, a few data points worth paying attention to. Um, a couple of the, a couple of our invest, in the, the investment bank research strategy people uh they like to put out their trade of the week one of them was saying they like being short euro and long aussie um i actually don't mind that so much the positioning uh positioning in the euro the euro long position has now reached a three-year high and uh you know that that could provide some headwinds for further gains so you know, we're a little bit uh, cautious on, on the euro dollar. Um, the focus for us, I think, here on the open in Asia and into uh, London and, and the New York open are the yen crosses. So let's just buzz through some of these, uh, some of these dailies. Had a rally, dollar yen failed, kind of tried a doji day, bit of indecision, long tail. You're going to see this against all pair, all uh, yen crosses. 
same in Aussie yen. CAD yen even uh, even a bearish uh, is lower. So let's not forget this has had a huge move down in 2018, like a thousand pips. It's come back up about 500, and now we're getting close to this half fib of the year. And we also have we've got some indecision here on this bar. Made a new high, made another new high. That kind of bit of a stretch, but then then closed lower. So been running a long CAD yen position. I'm I'm turning cautious uh, as we approach the half fib of the year and the uh, the hundred uh, day moving average up here at 86. So for me, we're 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 definitely scaling out of this position. It's been a been a good good move. We've been long for a couple hundred points, so we'll take that in this type of environment. Euro yen, you know, again, kind of a long tail, but closed higher on the day. Sterling yen, similar. Um, you know, the, the yen crosses started giving up some of the gains later in the day, and uh, there's Kiwi yen. So, which brings me to Kiwi, actually. Let's take a look here. Pretty much would call this a bearish engulfing day. Uh, we, you know, we closed right at 49.50, 73.49.50 um, on Friday. This has had a nice move up from this low here down at 71.54. We've gone up 250 points. These are the big levels that we've been focused on, the 74.35 area. Um, so maybe a little correction first before we go and, and take out this area here, but we'll be watching closely up here at the 74, 30, 30 to 50. Um, equities, let's pop over and check out the S&P and NASDAQ and see what they did. They were down a little bit, you know, kind of an uneventful day, smaller range, maybe slight doji type bar. Um, NASDAQ, similar. Interesting how the S&P is, it actually did a high on Friday, and we also had a high back. Uh, we got a little double top here at 2680. So that I know there's some people looking to fade this 2680, 2700 area. Um, so that's the, those are the equity markets. Um, another high conviction trade out of one of the investment banks, one of our strategy one of the strategy teams was that uh, U.S. 10-year yields are going to dip back down to that 268 to 270 area with a stop over 288. Um, that's interesting. I don't, I don't mind that trade, but that would be some sort of risk-off play. And, you know, we need equities to roll over before you start seeing any other reaction, you know, or higher higher bonds, lower bond yields. Um, so good luck here on the open. Uh, equities open in about an hour and a half. I hope you guys have a, uh, a good trading day, and you'll hear from us on the, on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.